In my previous video, I spoke a little bit about the uh, settlement of Tel Sabi Abiyad and uh, how I felt it uh, played a significant role in uh, the barter system or, or uh, the tokens that were discovered at this site could have brought about a systematic uh, administrative process. Also, the oldest known pottery was discovered at this site. Today, I'd like to shift my focus to uh, uh, a culture that existed for, that spanned over a time of uh, somewhere around 2,750 years, uh, beginning from 5,500 uh, BC to 2,750 BC. This uh, culture known as uh, Kukuteni Tripilia, <laughs> I hope I pronounced it right, uh, this spanned somewhere around, it centered around the region of uh, Bolivia and uh, spread across Romania and other parts of Europe. We can split this uh, culture over, over three different phases. The earliest phase existed between 5800 to 5000 years. The middle era spread somewhere between 5000 to 3500 years ago. Uh, before the birth of Christ and uh, the latest uh, phase can be said existed uh, somewhere between 2750 to 3500 years before the birth of Christ. Now um, obviously there were different uh, lifestyle changes that occurred over this period of time. 2750 years is a, is a long uh, phase for development to change. Um, how do I? How do we segregate it? The earliest phase, uh, they too shifted from the hunting and a nomadic lifestyle to agricultural lifestyle. Uh, they concentrated more on animal husbandry. Uh, the females were responsible for uh, spinning of textile, um, decorating pottery, and more, more, uh, more domesticated as such. The men uh, would take care of whatever hunting needs to provide food. They would uh, take care of the agriculture, and uh, they were growing. They were taking care of the livestock, like cattle, sheep, goats, and uh, some other maybe pigs. So the men and the women, their duties were segregated. They were separated, and this brought about the beginning. I feel of uh, roles and functions that okay maybe the female are more artistic and uh, more delicate so they were taking care of uh, functions that were that did not require their physical strength and the men uh, took on the more uh, laborious tasks uh, crops that uh, came up in this era they started growing discovering uh, that they can grow crops like uh, rye and um, green vegetables, various different kinds, so that they, so their, their taste palettes also changed, uh, giving rise to too many things, too many intellectual things happening in their lifestyle. From this era, the middle era was somewhere between 5,000 to 3,500 years ago. Now the similar functions were carried forward, carried forward between the previous and the middle era, where the women continued with their domestic uh, life lifestyle the men continued to perform the functions just that they developed a little bit more um, like uh, if, if uh, they grew rye uh, agriculturally they uh, created tools so that the rye could be converted into flour how would they uh, plow the fields so they invented tools made out of antlers and made out of sharp sticks, made out of uh, stone tools so that uh, they could use it as plow to plant the seeds. So that, that is the enhancement in the middle era. Um, also uh, the females were making different kinds of uh, fabric. They uh, discovered earlier they used to, the females were involved more into dom domesticated functions but now they enhance their skills, the painting on the pottery, 
the the patterns were a little more uh, distinguished than the previous era the i think growing of textile and gave rise to a lot of creativity amongst the women uh, they decided to make probably a, a clothes that were a little more fashionable and decorated with jewelry because uh, in this era uh, a lot of uh, jewelry made out of copper were excavated so yes the female the women folk decided to put a lot of uh, uh, female things together like live more of a f- uh, women's lifestyle and uh, the latest era that existed between 3500 to 2750 Uh, years ago uh, brought about a major change in uh, in the culture in in their methods of living um, the tokens the tokens that were in- invented earlier by the previous culture by the previous inhabitants uh, over time were used to uh, to barter for products uh, in uh, my previous Uh, video i i said that maybe at tel sabia biad they came up with an administrative uh, system that was brought about due to this uh, invention of maybe money and the barter system i think that followed through in the culture and uh, trade was increased trade was identified to a more uh, sophisticated level where this tribe or the inhabitants of this culture started uh, interacting with other cultures um, what we know as import today i think they were get, they were procuring uh, products or artifacts from different cultures um, the change in the culture brought about due to trade and uh, invention of uh, these tokens and seals and uh, sealing uh, sealing tokens I think this culture played a major role in in trade in that region and that region was pretty big it was quite vast uh, for those days I think this uh, culture we should thank this culture for uh, bringing about uh, interaction between various cultures invention or uh, starting the process of trade uh, import maybe export and uh, maybe the beginning of a finer administrative uh, system that probably without realizing we are still following today so i think uh, that played a major role in the human progression in the human mind and uh, i'd like to thank i'd like to thank that culture and as usual i'd like to believe that art played a major role in uh, in a lot of changes that have happened in the human species and i wanted to discuss that today thank you for staying tuned